everyone, this is Crystal, and today I'm working on a layout uh, using some Colorcast Designs um, pieces. This one in particular that says Home Sweet Home. The page I'm going to be working on will be the title page to a new album I'm starting. Uh, this is one I've talked about doing for a long time, um, I've planned to do for a long time, and feel like it's finally time to get it started. So this is going to be an album documenting our home, the one we're currently living in, um, and the time that we've spent here. So we've done lots of remodeling. We're still doing lots of remodeling. Um, we have owned the house for, oh uh, gosh, I don't even know what year it was when we bought it, 2004 maybe, so 15, 16 years, um, and lived in it off and on in that time period, and uh, I just want to create an album that kind of walks through the whole time we've been here, and the things that we've done, and the time we've enjoyed here, and mostly tell the stories that are associated with this house and this town. So that's what the album is for. Um, I've decided to do a 9 by 12 album. Um, I knew that I wanted to do both layouts and pockets uh, just so I could get more photos into the album. Um, I don't have the album yet, so I'm still trying to decide on what album to buy, but I do know it's going to be 9 by 12. Um, I feel like that's going to uh, allow me to do both layouts and pockets and have enough space to tell the stories, but also not be as large as a 12 by 12 album, which is just hard to pull off the shelf and look through. Um, and I felt like a six by eight album would just be too small. So nine by 12 it is. Today's page, like I said, will be the title page. I have a photo, actually I have um, the same photo printed twice. I printed it in color in black and white. This is um, our house when we bought it. Uh, it definitely does not look like this now, but this is what it looked like when we bought it. Um, it's a super old photo, like I said, we have had it for about 16 years, I guess. Um, and I can't even tell you what camera this would have been taken with. Um, certainly not a fancy one, uh, probably a disposable one. Um, I'm not I'm not really sure. So the quality isn't great. So um, the color photo is not, not great. Uh, so I printed it in black and white just because the colors are a little off and I did do a little bit of work in Photoshop but the quality just isn't good enough to really get a, a solid photo so um yeah so I printed it in black and white because I felt like that looked a little bit better and I also wasn't sure how the color one would work with the supplies I've chosen which are um I have two collections here I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use for this particular page but I do want to use these in the album so the album will kind of be based off of this color scheme um, which they aren't uh, they don't match exactly but I feel like they work together pretty well so this is our house from Cartabella and uh, the yellow door collection from uh, fancy pants these are not new I've had these for quite a while I think this is 2018 and this one probably about the same time, yeah, 2018. So I bought these with the intention of using them to document uh, our home um, and just haven't done any of it yet. So I have not touched either of these in the two years I've had them. So um, I'm, si I'm excited to dig into them and uh, start using them up and get this album going. So like I said, I'm not sure which of these I'll choose today. I'm just gonna play around and see what I come up with. So I have a sheet of 12 by 12 white cardstock that I need to trim down to nine by 12. And then yeah, I'm just gonna play around and um, see what happens. I'm gonna start by just trimming everything down. So I need to trim down this 12 by 12 paper to nine by 12. I need to trim off the sides of both of my photos um, and I am going to trim down both because I'm still not sure at this point which one I wanted to use. I was pretty sure it was going to be the black and white one, but I wanted to see the color one uh, in place and make up my mind that way. So yeah, it's going to be the black and white one. That color photo just didn't look good. So I grabbed the Our House collection first. I'm just going to flip through the papers and pull out any that I think will work with this spread. Um, there was a cut apart sheet. I really love this polka dot. Um, there is that house print. I thought that would work pretty well. I love this kind of dark maroon color and the wood grain. Uh, of course, the teal and the navy. And I think that's going to be it for the papers. Um, and those are the papers I'm going to pull from for this layout. So since I have those papers, I decided to start looking at the uh, 
sticker sheet that came in that collection kit and see if there's anything that I want to use. I definitely want to use that little house. I think it's perfect for this spread. Um, and I'm thinking it will go right in the kind of nook of my title piece there. So uh, I'm just looking at what, what papers I want to use behind my photo. I really love that wood green and that maroon paper, but then I thought, oh, maybe this polka dot would work, but that was too, too many polka dots all at once. I also really like this teal, but I felt like I needed some contrast. Um, I also did put the navy blue paper behind my layout, thinking I'll mat the whole thing in that. Uh, I did switch it out just for a second with this uh, teal paper, but I like the weight of the navy blue. And then I even considered double matting it, but that just looked like way too much. It was, uh, yeah, just way too much for, for this small page. So I'm going to end up taking that teal paper away and just use the navy paper to mat the entire layout. And um, right now I'm just pulling off a few more stickers that I think I might want to use. And I do kind of rub them on the back of my hand to remove some of the sticky. Um, that way I can move them around on the page uh, before they stick down completely. And I do have a powder tool. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to get it out. I was just using the back of my hand because obviously it's handy. Um, but okay, so I had to trim off a half inch from two sides of that 9 by 12 paper to give me a quarter inch um, mat around the entire thing. And then I am going to gut this 9 by 12 paper um, just because this is the first time I'm using this collection and there's only one of each paper and I do really like the back side. So this will at least let me use it to maybe mat a photo or something similar. Uh, on a future layout. So just going to cut um, one inch around the edge of this 9 by 12 piece of paper and then I have a, a mat for my layout. Uh, so then I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to all four sides of the white cardstock and then I'm going to take it away to my sewing machine and I don't show you uh, this just because I needed to rethread my sewing machine and I figured you wouldn't want to watch me do that. Uh, but I do go away and sew in white thread around the entire outside. So there you can see just a really simple uh, straight stitch around all four sides of the border. Okay, so now I can start playing with layers behind my photo. Um, like I said, I really do like that wood grain, but I felt like maybe it needed a white mat. So I went and grabbed a scrap piece of cardstock, but the whites in my photo did not match the whites in the cardstock, and it just made the photo look um, old. <laughs> it made it look look a little yellowed, uh, which I didn't like. Um, so I am going to mat it directly on this wood grain paper, but I did place it strategically so that you could see the hearts. Um, if I had put it just up in the corner, you wouldn't be able to tell that the little white spots were hearts, um, but moving it to um, down just a little bit on the page allowed those hearts to show. And you can't see all of the hearts, but you can see enough that you can tell that that's what they are, which is really all that I wanted. And then I am going to add a thin mat of this maroon butterfly paper as well, but I want to add some foam behind my photo before I do that. So I just grabbed some fun foam and I held it up to my photo, um, making sure it was just slightly inside the edge on two sides. And then I can turn it over and trim around um, the outside edges of the photo, the other two edges, and that gives me a perfectly sized piece of fun foam. And I just glued it directly down to the uh, butterfly paper, and I will trim a small border around two sides of that. And because I had that foam there, it was a bit hard to get uh, it cut well, so I did have to grab my scissors. But um, yeah, so I really like the way this is looking so far. I like that little house. I like my title there at the bottom uh, corner of my photo. Um, I'm starting to bring in some other embellishments and play around. Um, it's starting to feel like it's coming together. I'm also going to grab two of these um, little geotags that were part of the May release as well from Colorcast Designs. They match my title piece. Uh, actually, I think I only grabbed one right now. I do end up including two of them though. Um, I was considering adding another mat to my photo there for a second, um, and I do end up doing that, but I think I try to figure out what other embellishments I want to use first. So the one thing I will say about this Our House collection is that I don't have any other pieces from it. I only have this collection kit, which only has the papers and the sticker sheet, and um, I didn't feel like I had a lot to work with. So um, I kind of wish I had purchased an ephemera pack or something, but uh, I didn't, so instead I went to the Yellow Door Collection and grabbed the ephemera from it. So I have the ephemera and the um, 
it's a sticker sheet of just like circles and like flower shapes. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I grabbed both of those and I am gonna include a couple of these, um, just some really simple ones that will work with the colors that I have on the page already just to help fill out and give me a few more bits and pieces to add to this page. So um, I so I found the pieces that I think I want to use. I'm going to set those aside, and then I'm going to go ahead and mat the, the photo in that teal color as well, just to bring in a bit more color, and that helps um, the teal that's in the little house sticker that I'm going to use. It helps that make a bit more sense on the page as well. So just doing the same thing as I did before. Uh, no more foam, just directly... Um, up against that maroon paper and then I can glue down my photo. So I am uh, adding it to the page slightly above center just because I know that my title and um, and the embellishments are going to hang down below it and I want to make sure there's plenty of space for that large title. So I am um, off centering it a little bit to, towards the top and I, then I can add my title and I just use some glossy accents to stick down um, that acrylic piece and it does kind of hang off the edge but it's well stuck to my photo so I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. In fact you can see I forgot to add the house into the, that little um, nook that I had originally wanted to put it and there was no lifting it up even it was maybe 30 seconds later and I, there was no lifting up that acrylic piece to slip that house underneath. So I decided just to move it off to the side and then I will fill in that um, little space with another sticker and another geotag. Uh, I had popped it up on foam, but then I realized that the geotag wasn't going to fit. Um, that's kind of the, the moral of this, this uh, scrapbooking adventure. This page is uh, me going ahead and gluing things down before realizing that I need to peel them up to add something else. Um, there's going to be a lot of that happening on this page, and I'm not sure why. I normally plan a little bit better than that, but today I didn't. Today I just started adding things and uh, didn't think about the other things that would need to go underneath them, apparently. So yeah, you'll see me peel up pretty much everything I stick down at least once so that I can stick something else behind it or around it. Um, including that piece I just stuck down, that little banner. I really like it up there, but I wanted that little die cut from the Yellow Door collection that says Cozy Home, I think, or Cozy House, something like that. Um, I wanted it underneath it, and I didn't add it first, uh, which doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure why I didn't, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I had to peel it up and get that other die cut in there before sticking it back down. And then I also have to do the same down here. Um, when I add that banner at the bottom of the page as well. Uh, I do go ahead and stick down that geotag at the top, again with some glossy accents, and uh, I added foam behind that banner there just to lift it up um, off of all those other die cuts that are around it. And then I have to peel off the sticker that I put below my title and um, so I can get that banner in place and then stick that whole thing back down. And because I had taken away some of the sticky of all these stickers, I do add a little bit more adhesive to them when I when I stick them down to the page. Um, so I decided I wanted to add our address. Like I said, this is going to be the title page of my uh, album about our home. So I wanted to get our address and I thought I would add the address on that tag, which I don't do on camera. I, I will do that off camera. Um, just because I don't really feel the need to broadcast my address to everyone out there. But um, I do add the house numbers. So our house numbers are 911 or 911. And um, uh, we have another house in another town, and the house numbers for it are 411 or 411. So uh, we always got kind of a kick out of that. So um, I definitely wanted to include those numbers on this title page, and then I will handwrite the actual address in that little pink tag below my title um, after I am all done filming and photographing. Uh, so I moved that around quite a bit. Those are just some gold puffy uh, alphas from Citrus Twist. I tried it in a couple different spots. There's that blank spot underneath my title next to the sticker that I put there that I really felt like I wanted to add something there. So I tried the house numbers. It looked a little awkward. So I moved them down to the label and again, it just didn't look right. So I moved them up to the top to that cluster and I like that much better. 
So that's where they're going to stay. And then I grabbed just some older enamel dots from my stash that happened to be in a very similar color to uh, the kind of maroony color that's that's on this page. So I added those in two places in kind of the two cl uh, embellishment clusters that I have working on the page. And um, then I'm still looking for something to go in that blank spot. I tried this little floral piece, but it was, um, it just didn't look right. And then I thought, well, maybe one of the butterflies, but they were too big. Uh, they did not fit in that spot. And then I found this little heart, so I try it, uh, but it gets lost. You can't really see it underneath the title. So instead I move it over to the uh, enamel dot cluster and I really like the way that looks. I'm super glad I did that. So I added one to the top as well. Now each of those clusters has a little heart and three little enamel dots. Um, so then I decided to look back through the other ephemera pack, um, the one from the Yellow Door collection, to see if there was anything there. And it was just all too big. Nothing, nothing was small enough to fit in that spot. So I'm just letting it go and living with it the way it is. And... Um, I actually end up liking it a lot. So uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just add some gold splatters using some Heidi Swap Color Shine. And um, I'm down to my last little bit of this, by the way. I'm going to have to find something to replace it with soon. But um, yeah, so that is the page all done. There are some close-up photos coming up so that you can see all the details. And um, I hope you enjoyed this layout and were able to find some inspiration and you can look forward to more layouts in this album coming soon. Uh, if you did enjoy this, this process, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all back here soon.